Hello, in this video we're going to look at the mean and the variance of a truncated Cauchy distribution. <clears throat> First we need to look at some of the properties of a Cauchy. And here this is the density of a Cauchy distribution. X is a real number, mu is a real number, theta is, is positive. Um, let's look at the CDF for F, which we'll need when we develop the truncated Cauchy. And it's really we're integrating from negative infinity to x of this density. Make a substitution and we get this. And now going from here to here, I've proved it many times and perhaps a shameless plug for another video of mine. Um, I derive it in this one. It's a sample actuarial exam, problem stat exam 2 of 8, part 2 of 6. And then I, we, we prove that this is, uh, is arc tangent. And of course, these are the limits that, you know, that we uh, have here. And then you plug them in. And then the, uh, as, as you approach negative infinity of arc tangent, it goes to negative 2 over pi. So negative and negative is positive. Um, distribute the pi, and we get this. So that's f of uh, x for a Cauchy. And the reason we need that is for this probability. The probability that X, being a Cauchy, between two numbers A and B. And they can be any real numbers. You want A strictly greater than, I mean B strictly greater than A. And then this probability is this probability. And so it's the difference of, of this, you know, with A and B put in the right spot. Um, now to develop a truncated Cauchy, say f of you know tc and i'm going to drop the subscript but i'm i want to put it here to show you that this f is a little bit different than this s this s f is the cauchy but this it, we're having an indicator function that where x is between a and b so it's one for for this uh you know relationship and zero otherwise and then we have to divide by the probability of being between a and b and that's what we calculated here um, so, when we take the f and divide it by this probability, the 1 over pi's cancel and we're left with this. Now, the theta, you know, if I wish I'd have put it between those two, and then because then that would have been the density for Cauchy, and p, I'm going to call this probability. And so, where p is, is the, you know, minus the 1 over theta, the, or 1 over pi. And so this is it. This is the truncated uh, Cauchy distribution. So now with this, let's prove or show or calculate the mean. So we expect the value of x is you stick in x times the density. And, and the 1 over p is part of this density, but it's constant. So we take it out. We substitute y equal x minus mu over theta. Take the derivative. Back solve for x, which we'll need for when we plug in there. And then we get this. Now this is, uh, we're going to create two intervals, or two, yeah, integrals. So this one and then that one, and that's what these two are. Now, for this one, you know, if the p were part of this, then it's a... Uh, standardized Cauchy so it integrates to 1 and we're not going to go through that but if you want to do that you can so we're left with just mu and here we make another substitution W and notice I leave off the integration I, I didn't really mean to do that I usually don't when I end up having the video but when I'm doing the calculations on my own I get lazy and don't put them on so technically then we should you know put you know, a B in here and put it on the top and then an A in here and put it on the bottom. Now when, but I knew I was coming back to the X world, so I was just going to ignore them all. But anyway, so here we let W be this one plus Y squared. So we uh, take the derivative of both sides and we end up with this. Now the mu, of course, comes down. Now this is one over the log, the antiderivative. And then we evaluate it at you know whatever these limits are but I take it back to the x world so it's the log of w 
but w is 1 over y plus or 1 plus y squared 1 plus y squared but y was uh, x minus mu over theta and so I brought it back to the x world and we're integrating it or evaluating it b and a so you plug in b and then it's minus plug in a and that's it that's the mean we're going to call that um, uh, mu a b and it's the mean of a Cauchy truncated at a and b um, later in the in the second moment I get lazy instead of carrying this term around I just call it capital L and so I wish I had introduced it here but I didn't so now let's look at the second moment which means take uh, put x squared in here times the density evaluate it over all possible values um, we make the same substitutions we're going to let y equal this value derivative back solve and we get this and then to evaluate this we're going to expand that so it's going to be mu squared 2 mu theta y plus theta squared y squared and then we're going to put this we're going to evaluate three integrals well this first part is sort of a no-brainer because everything's constant and the p comes in because it's part of the density integrates to one and we're just left with mu squared for this one we have two mu theta are constant so they go out front front and we're left with y over one plus y squared which is what we evaluated here and it's the second piece that comes down here so I'm not going to go through that math again and that's so the mu squared is here and this piece becomes this piece based on the work we did before now this second or third term I mean where it comes down and then how do we evaluate this well this is kind of a neat one um, if the numerator was 1 plus y squared well then it would be easy because that'd be 1 well that's the trick we use and then remember I told you about instead of carrying this log around I just call it capital L for difference of the logs um, we add one and subtract one and so then we look at this integral and then this integral and this is one so it becomes an easy thing to evaluate so so we just carry things down and that's L so here we get the theta squared over P and then times this well this is one and then um, this one becomes arctangent like on the first page so the, uh, the antiderivative of one is just y and then we evaluate it at our limits this is arctangent and we evaluate it at our limits so everything comes down and then this a, put in b and then minus put in a you get this and then the arctangent becomes this so plus arctangent at that um, now this right here is what we were calling uh, P on the first page so I could simplify this by saying minus P um, but I didn't I wish I would have in retrospect so the variance becomes this it is uh, this value minus the mean squared which we were calling this now I could have put this in math uh, maxima and tried to simplify it but I didn't that's it it is what it is so then I thought well this is kind of cool I wonder if we can generate these in R the software program and they don't have a built-in function but we can do it why not and so that's the next half this page is I start thinking about how we're going to generate truncated uh, Cauchy distributions in R well, if we look at the CDF of our truncated Cauchy, so that's what this is, we go from A to X, then we make a substitution in for this, say Y, and then it becomes the arctangent, just like on the previous two calculations. And we evaluate it from X to A. 
Well, that's what this is. So this is the CDF of a truncated Cauchy distribution. Now to generate random variables, we know that the CDF uh, is has a distribution of a uniform 0, 1 random variable. So if we say set this to U, this piece here, and then back solve for X, then we just found the inverse CDF. And so that's what we do here. So we set U equal to this, and then we back solve for X. So here, so we would need to multiply by P, add the tangent, arc tangent over, uh, take the tangent of both sides, multiply by theta, add mu, and that's what we get here. Okay, so now if you generate a uniform zero one random variable and plug it in here and then calculate this, then you just generated a truncated Cauchy distribution. And what's pretty cool is my next video is going to look at that. I wrote some o an R program to evaluate that and look at the histogram of our generated data versus the theoretic theoretical data. We look at the mean and the variance of the theoretical and the generated and everything is, is as what it, it should be. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I sure did. Uh, please like it if you did and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.